Hi everyone, I'm Josh and welcome to Josh Wright Piano TV. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to make a short motivational video. I don't do these all that often. Just about why we continue to create as musicians. Um, and this could be applied to really any field. It could be, it could be in mathematics, it could be um, in foreign languages, uh, it could be in anything that you are creating in, is anything that you have to use a creative um, mindset for. Uh, recently, the, Yu Chan Lim, um, he's made a huge splash in the classical music world, this amazing 18-year-old kid um, from South Korea. He just won the Van Cliburn competition. But it wasn't just, oh, he won a big competition. He really is one of a kind, technically. It's just unbelievable, but also musically so beautiful and thoughtful. And it just got me thinking, um, what a great gift he is to our society. But what what a great gift all the other pianists in that competition were. One of my favorite pianists in the world is Kate Lou, and she didn't win. Um, she's an incredible artist that I have loved her playing ever since she played the, I think it was the first thing she played at the International Chopin competition um, six or seven years ago in 2015, uh, the Opus 62 number one Chopin Nocturne. As soon as I heard that, I was like, she should win or at least place. And sure enough, she went on to place third in that competition. Um, what a thoughtful and beautiful player and technically a genius as well. What, what about her in the Van Cliburn? Or what about all the people who entered the Tchaikovsky competition who didn't win? Or what about people who've never competed and who are just creating great art in their communities? Um, there is a great author, his name is Neil Gaiman. Um, and he gave a commencement speech. I believe it's called Make Good Art. Really amazing speech. You should all go listen to that. But it goes to, it makes you question, why are we creating? And I think at the core of it is every day we sit down to our instrument, to our paintbrushes, to a math problem, whatever it might be, we have the opportunity to create something new or to challenge ourselves in a new way, doing something that's already been done many times. How many people have played, you know, Waldstein Sonata or something, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands, I'm sure, throughout history, maybe millions. Uh, but why, so why would we play that? It's, it's a unique way to challenge ourselves. It's a unique way to probe deeper into our creative outlets. So uh, I didn't want this video to be cheesy or corny, um, you know, feel good type video. <laughs> I just wanted it to spur some thought and for you to each ask yourselves, why are you creating? Um, why do you do what you do each day? Um, if you're a musician, you're probably a musician if you're watching this channel. Um, but what is it that you're going to do today that's different than yesterday? All of us have issues. I think a lot of people look at these world-class artists and think they struggle with nothing. Um, I know I've thought that before, but I've talked to many of them and they all struggle with different things, whether it be nerves on stage or sometimes even little technical issues they have. I know that I have been rebuilding little elements of my technique even as recent as this year, just little things that have bothered me in my hand and I'm making strides with them. It's not absolutely perfect, but I've overcome a lot of technical issues uh, difficulties and I'm playing faster and looser now than I probably ever have been in my life, but I still have a ways to go. Why do I continue? A lot of people just stop once they reach a certain, certain level. First of all, I find this really enjoyable and fun. I'm going to botch this quote. I should have looked it up before this video, but the thought just came to me now. I remember uh, a colleague of mine saying, do you remember that Pablo Casals quote? Uh, it basically said something like, why do you continue to practice in your 90s? He said, because I think I might finally be getting good at this or something like that, one of the greatest cellists of all time. So uh, I feel the same way. Why do I sit down every single day? I've played a lot of wonderful repertoire. I've, I've been very fortunate to study with amazing teachers, but every day I sit down because it's a new challenge. I get to solve something new. So ask yourself, why are you creating today? How are you going to do it differently than yesterday? And what are you going to learn from this? I hope that helps uh, spur a little creativity in your mind today. If any of you have any questions, my email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. Thank you so much again for joining me. If you wouldn't mind subscribing and liking this video, it really helps out the channel to... Uh, 
be pushed out to more people so that they can benefit from some of these tips and ideas that I hope are helping you in your studies. I'll leave a few links as well in the description. One of them is for a free webinar containing 10 of my favorite tips to take your playing to a higher level. Uh, two links for two of my paid courses um, that will go even deeper than this channel goes over with repertoire and weekly member requests and guided practice sessions. And finally, a link for my gear kit, all of the gear that I use in these videos. Um, so the lighting, the mics, the cameras, and a bunch of other stuff that I hope can be a good resource if any of you are looking to um, get into recording or producing music videos or whatever it might be. Have a great week. Good luck in your practice sessions.